Hello everyone. About once a year I like to buy uh, some inexpensive stamps off of eBay. I am not a stamp collector because I collect too many things already as it is. However, I find it interesting, especially with stamps, that you can get a lot for a very inexpensive price. And so this lot is uh, for $1.50. They promised 100 international stamps with about uh, they said about 50% would be uh, commemoratives, which I take that to mean that they are um, uh, extra special somehow. So let's uh, first take a look at the envelope. But one thing I like about buying uh, uh, from stamp dealers is they use legitimate uh, old American stamps uh, to actually uh, send uh, letters to you. So... Um, uh, Francis Perkins, whoever that is, Legacies to Mankind, uh, America's Libraries, and uh, this is an airmail stamp uh, for the Audubon Society. It looked like uh, maybe they were celebrating uh, 100 years or something. So let's go ahead and uh, slice this open. So in there we have, uh, well, they wrote 10 cents for 550. Well, who knows what that means, but uh, I do remember it being a lot A. This guy had a lot of inexpensive lots available, as I am uh, pretty much destroying the envelope here. And this is inexpensive enough that uh, I could throw it away after I'm done making this video and think I've got pretty good entertainment value out of here. So first we have from um, Romania, uh, we have uh, 20 Bonnie, and I guess that's... Uh, some kind of flower from Romania, uh, 55, 1972. Here we have uh, someone, uh, someone on horseback is fighting with a bear. That's, uh, don't know what's going on, but that's uh, pretty cool. Thought I'd twist the screen for maybe it'll help with the lighting here and uh, focus. We have, uh, it's going to be uh, British because it has the uh, the queen uh, in the top corner. So uh, I guess the three pence. Next up from Germany. Can't uh, read that. 1783, something from uh, Berlin. From uh, New Zealand, here is a Christmas stamp. Adoration of the Magi, so two and a half cents. Now that's a big stamp. From uh, Magyar is Hungary. So, Amre Joseph. Gross Emil and Blaskovic's Laszlo, a uh, stamp from 1972. It costs one foreign. I do collect coins, uh, foreign coins, so I recognize some of the the uh, coin denominations on here. So this looks like another Romania coin from 1969 that cost a 55 boni, October 25th. So it must be a World War II uh, commemorative of somehow. Another one from Germany. This one kind of tough to see with the postmark. Belgium. Can't really tell what's going on with that. New Zealand, Christmas 1973. Another one from Belgium. Another one from uh, Romania. That Belgium one looks uh, very similar to some previous ones that we saw. 
slightly different color blue. Here's another one from Hungary. I guess that is a uh, dove of some kind. Let's get this big stamp right here. And we have a, uh, uh, must be from a dog collection. That one is called a uh, Fox Terrier. And I see another dog stamp, uh, must be from the same set. Here is the uh, Bulldog. Berlin 1650. Can't really tell what's going on in this photo. I guess, uh, boy, it looks like he has three feet. This one also from Berlin. We've got a uh, University Stecklitz. The uh, cost to ship this one was 1.10 Deutschmark. So there we have a bull who is wearing people clothing. Dated 1965. And that bull has a human hand, so the uh, this uh, lot is uh, turning out to be interesting just for the entertainment value. Here we've got uh, Romanian brown bear. That uh, almost reminds me of a, a California flag. We almost lost one behind it. RSA, so I don't know what country that is, but it is, uh, looks like some kind of cone flower, and it's dated 1977. Get to this one with the arrows, that is going to be from Turkey. So, uh, 25 Kurus from 1974. That one looks like it is from like the, the 30s. Since I saw that word Spoorwegen earlier, I'm going to say that is another one from Belgium. Looks like a, a wheel with a wing on it. And there's a little, um, I don't know, a, a, some kind of horn there in the bottom left corner. And the uh, the cost s struck out and changed to 10 francs, I guess. Next up, we have another New Zealand Christmas Design from 1972. There we go. Uh, we've got a... I don't really think of trains when I think of New Zealand, but that one is a uh, nice steam train. Marked at four cents. I like that one. Another one from Anzac, so Australia, New Zealand, and uh, I guess other similar <laughs> areas. So it must be the 50th anniversary, uh, marked at four cents, showing a beach. While we're looking at New Zealand, here is another larger Christmas coin uh, stamp, dated 1916. That's a nice large stamp, uh, Nativity Rembrandt. This big green one here. So I don't know what country that is. It's some Arabic country that is honoring JFK for his 50th birthday at the 1956 Democratic National Convention. So uh, strange to think that there is an Arabic country out there that... Uh, likes JFK. Well, um, my uh, mother-in-law likes JFK, so that is going to go into her collection. Another one from Turkey. It looks like some uh, kind of uh, ocean scene with a city and a bridge uh, underneath a tree. 
Zong Uldok. What do we have here? Another one from uh, Germany. The uh, I guess that's going to be the Philharmonic. Another one from Turkey. Urfa. Another uh, city scene, I suppose. Another one from Germany, C.W. Ehlers, 1889. I, I would have guessed that was Sherlock Holmes if I didn't <laughs> know it was from Germany. So, uh, not sure what's going on with that one. Another uh, countryside uh, view from Turkey. Mugla. Mugla. Not sure how to pronounce it. This one's... Uh, Colorful. Another one with a uh, steam train with a modern trolley on it. I like that one. So that one appears to be dated 1969. Bucharesti Giorgio. That one's kind of neat with that uh, old and new trains alike. That one is... Uh, Seska Slovenska, so that's Czechoslovakia. But the cancellation stamp is kind of tough to read on that one, unless that 100 is part of the stamp. It's a uh, smaller... Uh, what's... A Durer... I guess... Kind of looks like Charles Manson, but probably not. So there we go, a uh, f another German 400. That might be the days uh, of uh, hyperinflation. Not able to read anything off of that one. We got another one from Romania. This is uh, some kind of uh, winter flower scene. This one's probably from the same set. We've got uh, that looks like some kind of uh, underwater flower. That's interesting. Hey, I'm thinking this one is from the same set that made that JFK stamp earlier because I see uh, Ajman on it. So I am not sure what Ajman State and its dependencies are going to be. But that is one real, which is a, uh, a uh, very common uh, currency. Tin filler. So that is a uh, filler for my collection. Very similar, we have a 30 filler, also from Hungary. Another uh, German, that, that person must be uh, obvious because they don't have his name on it. It's, uh... Well, there's some uh, German hyperinflation right there. One million cost one million mark, I guess, to mail something. Now, something that isn't just a number. We've got uh, we've got some kind of a bird on here from South Africa. That uh, canceled by. Uh, looks like someone took a crayon and scribbled over it. We got some tiny stamps coming up in here. Italy. 55 lira. A 
Another one from uh, Czechoslovakia, 50 Haleru. This one is in uh, new condition. Another one from Hungary. Sacra Corona. So, um, honoring the coronavirus before uh, it was a thing. So, okay. Another one from Romania that looks like some kind of, uh, I'm guessing that's a radio tower. I like the uh, the architecture on that one and shows the, uh, I guess the radio waves coming off of it. Here's our first from Indonesia. Looks like the entrance to some uh, large government building. Hervada uh, Slovenaka, so that's Slovenia, I believe. Here's a uh, very common, or there's an early uh, portrait of the Queen Elizabeth. So we've got a British uh, right here, 50 pence. Oh, we've got another uh, Corona stamp that uh, didn't want to stay on camera. Also from Hungary, 350. Okay, another one from Germany. We have here a bunch of hands. Two hands and a car from uh, Germany, and it looks like a ball. Like you're viewing it through a uh, Venetian blind. It's a uh, 15 Bennett coin from Germany. Hildegard Neff from Germany. That one's uh, fairly new because it's got uh, 0.55 euro in the uh, the value of that one. Another older uh, German. I like the mint mark on that. It shows someone uh, a soldier riding a horse, I guess. We have uh, Colombia. Jose. Joaquin Casas, 1866 to 1951. That looks like a uh, well-decorated military leader. May have been the king or something. Poland, uh, Krakow, 1493. So that might be the 500th anniversary of that town, which would make that coin 1993, or that uh, stamp 1993. Another German coin, um, Probably some queen dated or with uh, for fifteen finig. Turkey Samson. Got uh, multiple bridges on this view from. Helvetia, that is Switzerland, so it looks like four different br types of bridges there. It's uh, kind of neat. I uh, think bridges are interesting. Here's another uh, Poland city. This one looks to be Warsaw. Dated, uh, must have been founded in 1618. Indonesia to Rupi, that looks like... Uh, some, uh, must be some important building. Three people doing jumping jacks. The annual international De Lupta Impotriva Racismului Discriminari Racial 1971. Yeah, it had kind of a 70s look to it. Another one from Turkey. This one is uh, Sinop. I don't really know how to pronounce it, but if I say it with confidence, then you'll think I know what I'm talking about. Like this one is Tekkerdog. Uh, 
Flughafen Frankfurt. Looks like something mechanical. I have another one from Hungary that has never been used. 40 filler. And another one from Romania. Some kind of complex. Vietnam. Kind of the Pan Am logo behind a couple of scales and a book. So that uh, might be some kind of uh, law and justice uh, ideal. That one just says 30 Phoenix. So that one's not too exciting. España. So we are looking at Spain. Correos. 25 centimes. So that was pretty old based on the denomination. Another Romania. That's another radio tower that actually looks like a radio tower. It has the uh, like a metal beams on it. Hey, this one is uh, German with just a uh, German logo. I like that. It has a uh, looks like an eagle with the shield of a lion on it. So that one conveys strength. New Zealand, I guess, from a uh, gem collection, we have the amethyst. And now from Turkey, uh, 100 Kurus, uh, we have some kind of uh, cat, a white cat, dated 1973. I'm allergic cat, so I flipped that one over. Uh, let's see, uh, another one uh, from Germany that looks like some interesting uh, architecture. Kaiser Wilhelm Gedacht Niskirch. Looks about 60s on, on uh, that one. Shame that the cancellation kind of messes up the letter. Looks like a Schloss 1703. Our first from Canada, we have Bennett, five cents. More from Germany, another uh, city scene from 1780. Hey, we've got one that is not uh, not canceled from Germany, and we have some kind of university dated 1825. Another German that is not canceled. We have. The uh, German Opera Building, 15 Fennig. From Ecuador, Casa de Correos. I wonder if that's the same Correos we saw in an earlier stamp, although the other one was not from Ecuador. This is one centavo. Another one not uh, canceled from Germany. This one is from uh, Potsdam, uh, dated 1825, looks like it's some kind of gate with a couple of nice buildings on either side of the entrance. The Italian for 100 lira. Schloss Glucksburg. From Germany. Another one from Italia. Italy. 10 lira. Getting to the bottom of the envelope here. We've got just these left. From Hungary we have a couple people working out in the field for 10 filler. Another, um, oh, this one is from Iraq. 
five fills. The guy looks like uh, Q from Star Trek Next Generation. Another one from Switzerland, so we've got some kind of mountain castle with an even, an even higher peak in the background. And our last coin is not interesting. <laughs> Pearson uh, from Canada. He doesn't look thrilled that he is on a six cent stamp. All right, I hope you enjoyed looking at this um, dollar and a half uh, value of uh, international stamps. Thanks for watching. Bye.